when you put in a battery, it starts broadcasting automatically. So if you run the app, it will scan for the device, or scan for all devices, and if it sees it as it did this time, it'll show initially the serial number and indicate that it hasn't been set up yet. To set it up, simply press settings, and then my devices, and it'll show the beacon spots that you have in your account. I'm going to press on the serial number of the unit that we just scanned, and that brings me up the initial settings mode where you can simply press or tap on a on the text and then it will allow you to change it. And I can change the background color and the font color. I can enter a phone number, make it easy for people to call. I can create a profile picture if I want to by changing that switch and tapping on the photo icon to allow me to take from the library if I want. If I want to add some more photos, I can press there where it says create edit another page to link to and it takes me to this other page and it, if I press the plus on the up to upper right hand corner then it will show me a placeholder text um, if I tap that then I can select another photo and I can add some text I can add up to 20 photos, in fact. Now, if I come back, you'll see the changes that I made. But if you come to the master where it scans for devices, you'll see that that data hasn't um, that it hasn't been downloaded. And you see the photo of the dog there, but that's just because it's on my phone. It wouldn't be on anybody else's. It, it didn't download. So in order to get it to download, we'll scan, we'll kill the app, and then run the app again. And this time it scanned and it 
showed us all of our changes that we made. And now, if somebody comes along and scans this app, or scans your beacon spot after you set it up, they'll see the dog for sale. And if they're interested, they can look at the photos. And from here, it makes it easy to call them. They can just press the button or the phone number and they can call. And if they're too busy now, they can press the save button. And now when they come over to the history and I press saved, you'll see the history. It shows that you can, you can press on it and get back to the information and the photos and stuff. And that will stay on there forever as long as they've pressed save or actually 90 days on the on the history part and forever for the saved unless they delete it they they can delete these if they want and same with these oh no they can't delete these these delete in 30 days anyways or 90 days that is and you can go back 90 days in the history to see what you've scanned Or you can just go right to what you, you remember. This kind of just as a easy way to save phone numbers and whatnot.